waits for the sales. I mean, it's shipped five millions. That's the most it ever shipped, but shipped is not sailed. I think it will sell yeah. good and great and all this stuff. But let's wait for the real numbers yeah. of the sales, I say. And it doesn't matter how good it sells. I think part of the hype is it's new. Like, oh, everybody's talking about it. So people who yeah. never played Monster Hunter are interested in stuff. Capcom loves money. That's why they made Monster Hunter for the 3DS and the Wii, and not the PlayStation 3 or the Vita or PSP. I like this arena. Um, MC Scuddy. How's it going? Um, how am I playing Monster Hunter Double Cross? Do I speak Japanese? I do not speak Japanese. Holy shit. Holy crap. I just got the both of them. I don't speak Japanese, but after a while you kind of get used to... Especially the symbols. If you played previous Monster Hunter games with like symbols like a green potion, you'll know that's either a potion or a mega potion. And eventually, after a while, you'll get to know how long the kanji should be and stuff like that. Like so, a bit of looking at the symbols and a bit of just remembering um, specific kanji symbols. I'm not able to read Japanese, but after a while with the game, you kind of get used to it. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And if somebody finds something out, yeah. he explains it to me. We've all kind of been helping each other along. It's a bit of a pain if you're looking at talismans and you're looking at the skills that you want to have and stuff like that. Because that's like kanji you'd want to know. And when the skill isn't active, it's one kanji. And when it is active, it's a different one because it's a different word in English. It can be a bit of a headache at times. But, uh... I had Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Wii U. I played the 3DS versions as well. And I was, like, dying for another console Monster Hunter. So, playing this in Japanese was a no-brainer. Like I just said, yeah. The positives outweighed the negatives, let's say. <laughs> I knew I could play Monster Hunter, even if I couldn't read the words. I just... I already know the game, you know? I mean, for obviously for gameplay, you don't need to be able to read the kanji, but for the items, it's a bit of a headache. But after a while, it surprises yourself. You get used to it. I would. I just really want a new Monster Hunter made for the. Because so far, Monster Hunter Tri was the only Monster Hunter made for the console. Everything else was. Oh, that was such a good hit in the tail. <laughs> oh, and there it goes. Shoots off, mate. Every, every console. Well, okay, it's only two console games. Ultimate 3 and X. X. <laughs> but as I would say, uh, if we go the positive route. I would say, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's say the English version comes out and they do shit like, and for everybody yeah. who has the Japanese version, patches out right now. And this game yeah. gets a complete new hook, like you. Oh yeah, you this, get that motivated would give me in a complete great motivation way, yeah. for you yeah, know yeah, yeah. looking after my talismans, knowing what I want to keep and stuff like that. Just being able to see the armor yeah. skills and stuff like that, yeah, for sure. Okay. I think that would not be great if there will be an English release. The sales will not be great because every hardcore Monster Hunter fan yeah. bought this game in Japanese. Mm. Jesus. I only played Solo and wow, it was really fun. Yeah, I've never played the PSP ones now. I've, I've only ever played them since they came to Nintendo, so from the Nintendo Wii onwards. But. The reason I didn't like the 3DS ones was not because it was portable. Uh, the 3DS was not a great console for controls-wise. You know, there was circle pads as opposed to analog sticks. I think the the PSP had a better controller layout, so it was probably a good experience. The PSP? Mm, no, the PS Vita, yes, but the PSP. Oh, I'm, the D-pad was right under I'm the tiny the PS Vita. analog. <laughs> On the PSP, uh, there you, you could have played Monster Hunter great if there was a Monster Hunter. <laughs> PSP was terrible. After the Wii version, I got uh, yeah. hooked and I wanted to play more Monster Hunter. 
and I uh, did borrow a PSP and uh, my my poor yeah. hand really. That was the that was what the 3DS suffered with, in my opinion. Like I I hated playing long uh, play sessions on the 3DS. The controller was not great. It was actually all right with the Circle Pad Pro you could add to your 3DS, but I got a new 3DS XL, and I gave the Circle Pad Pro to my uh, fiance, and she started using that. Hey, thanks for the follow, Dan Vito. Thanks a lot. I'm saying the Circle Pad was more. Oh, the C knob. Yeah, that's what I hated, right? Because I'm one of those gamers where I get into a game and I kind of perspire from my hands a little bit, right? And with the way the C-stick works, if you're any bit of moisture on your hand, what, on your tongue whatsoever, the C-stick stops reading your inputs. You can no longer move the camera around like you would normally. And I was just sick and tired of it. I was literally, at one point I was using a latex glove just on my right tongue so I could use the C-stick anyway good. But like, yeah, what, such, such messing. Just give us proper controls, like. <laughs> Let us let us hook up a controller to the 3DS for God's sake and leave it on the table, you know? Oh jeez. This is good. I keep getting okay. I don't know if anyone else on the 3DS uh, experienced such things, but yeah, that was just ridiculous. There's a tail cut here, fellas. Told you! Fucking hell. All he does is run around oh. like that and keep smashing into you. There yeah. is again. Couldn't do anything. Couldn't I was also do running anything. away, I couldn't heal. Oh my god. Oh, dang games. Tell you what, without Monster Hunter, the PSP would have been more dead than dead. That was the selling point in Japan and why it sold so many units. Oh. That predicts them. In Tigrex. Oh, this tail! <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god, I just <laughs> want a second myself. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd get a mount down. Thanks to Young Gagwe. Oh. Yeah! I'm sorry. Oh my god. 3DS is, the, is probably the second best yeah. RPG, JRPG console in the world. Games like Bravely Default and Dragon Quest Remake and everything else. Fire Emblem. But yeah, bad for every action game yeah. where you have to control the camera. Slave EPA, how's it going? It's been a long time I watch you play games. So you used to watch your Call of Duty videos on the Wii. <laughs> I just get as I got loved with a boulder on the back of the head. Okay. Uh, why did you stop uploading videos on YouTube? Oh man, the answer is probably too long. I'll, I'll save it for some sort of a YouTube video. It's been about two years. Um, but I am back now. I've been streaming on Twitch actually as opposed to doing YouTube because uh, I prefer this platform. I don't like how YouTube's gone lately, so... God's sake. But yeah, the answer to that is uh, quite long. But uh, happy to hear that you were enjoying the Call of Duty Wii content. Um, appreciate the support back in the day. Thanks very much. And welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. I might do some sort of a... If, you've, if you're if you familiar with my YouTube channel, I might do some sort of a Q&A at some point and, and go through it, but... I don't know how to articulate a good answer for now, let's say, you know? Because it would be quite long and some of it's quite personal as well and I don't know if I want to divulge everything, you know, so... But yeah, it's, there was a lot of things going on in uh, IRL, in real life, not on the IRL section on Twitch now. And it just took a lot of my... Uh, time away. I needed to step back from YouTube and Twitch and focus on different things. That's a, that's the short answer. I hope that answers something. Thanks, Jay and Maya, for the follow. Appreciate it.
Hey, DH132. Welcome to the stream. I gotta carve that tail. YouTube is more for vlogging, etc. these days. As opposed to gaming, Twitch is where it's... Yeah, well, I like to sit down and play games and stuff. And I used to do that while also recording, but... Being live, you get to talk to people, like, right here and now. And that's the interaction that I've always really enjoyed. Because I used to stream on YouTube as well, like, back in the early days. But I think Twitch is a better platform. There's less delay and stuff. You can interact with the chat. You can do hog champ. I mean... Does it get any better? <laughs> <laughs> dense, dense game. Oh. Hey. Mate, what a cancerous it. quest. Two, Two shit, shit monsters. monsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Des, don't speak of you and Sean, please. Says the only person who found it is Quest. What a fantastic time we just had. <laughs> just kept getting hit. One would tag you and then it would stop, yeah. but the other would then tag you. Man, almost died like 50 times. Hey, Poke Lover, how's it going? Welcome along to the stream. How is BD Cool? Oh, I haven't heard from BD Cool in a long time. Um, I, I went to a couple of his streams. Uh, probably just before Christmas. But I haven't heard from him directly or anything like that, Poke Lover. I assumed he was still doing the YouTube thing and the, the Twitch streams and whatnot. <laughs> 